President Nobu's daughter, Falashade, appointed ambassador for Amarjiri uneducated children. Okay. I'm not going to talk with him in my mind. Now to the news info. Falashade Tinobu Ojo, the Yaloja General of Nigeria, the first daughter of President Bola Tinobu, has been appointed the ambassador of the National Commission for Amarjiri and Out of School Children's Education, NCA OOSCE. This announcement was made by the Executive Secretary of the Commission, Dr. Mohamed Sani Idris, during his costly visit to the Yaloja General's Palace in Lagos. Yaloja has palace. That the Yaloja. There are so many other people that could be made the ambassador for these Amajiri children out of school, but they chose the president's daughter. Government, government by the president, for the president and his family alone. Everything goes to them. They are the ones ruling everything. They don't want anything to go out of, of their jurisdiction. It is well. In a statement released in Abuja, the Commission's spokesperson, Nubra Mohammed, highlighted that Nabu's Ojo's dedication to aiding underprivileged communities, including Amajiri and children out of school system, influenced this significant appointment. What, what dedication? Hmm? What aid, what help has she done for this country? Even when her father was governor and now that he's president, what has she done? Nothing. I've not seen any of her achievements. The only thing we hear is she's the realogia of all market women. So, what has she done? Nothing. And now they are making her the ambassador of her Majiri. Okay, now. Dr. Idris praised her for her commitment to promoting trade and commerce and for her effort to enhance market women's access to essential resources and opportunities. Let us be deceiving ourselves. The new role as ambassador is expected to leverage Enable to address influential position in commerce to advance educational initiatives for some of Nigeria's most vulnerable population. The statement reads in part, Chief Tinobu Ojo expressed excitement and gratitude for the honor pledging to alleviate the plight of these vulnerable Nigerians. She emphasized her father's commitment to education as a lasting legacy for Nigerian children, evident in his own children's lives. She commended the Executive Secretary for his service to Nigeria and prayed for him to succeed in the task ahead. It is very with him. Paul Paul says, this issue of appointment of Ambassador for Amaji, what is the effect? that he will have on those Amaji because I remember Jonathan built school for them. Celestine Ugo says, I pity this country. Baba Tipin as a halo. Your government is a true replica of Padi Padi, Wayu Wayu, Body Body, recycling and reassembling all immediate and extended family. And this is a perfect exhibition of wretchedness at its peak. Because I'm sure that there are other people that could be in the position that you could have used for this ambassador, even though all of you are the same, but making your daughter the ambassador. She's the Yaloja general, and now you're making her ambassador. How many things does she want to do at the same time? Even if she's very competent and she can do this and that, there are other people that you could have appointed as ambassador and not your daughter. This is just like a nepotism. It's nepotism. You're using your children for everything your extended family, your cousins, your nephew, every one of them are in power. Now what? Okay, says the Akini General Lodger of Global Land. <laughs> Tinobu says, nothing like Tinobu Ojo, she is Mrs. Ojo Ni Tinobu, Yaloja General, you people should stop missing things together. Although she has done well, not to the part of her father, but as her own classical achievement, we Tinobus are all proud of her. Congratulations, O Tinobu. Pina Francis says, that's okay because she too is one Amajiri in Roman clothing. <laughs> very funny. Asa Gualebechi says, this is a very bad mindset. Who said that we don't have good politicians? We have them, but they are being denied of the opportunities to, to, opportunities to display their God-given potential. Our major setback is religion and tribalism. Until we all deal with it, we will continue to suffer and complain. Brother, we have good politicians, of course. We have the good ones and we have the bad ones, but the bad ones are the ones that we have right now, spoiling everything, doing anything they like, practicing nepotism, using your children, using your daughter 
putting them in high places just because you have the power to it is well the one says party party family government that is why we are where we are today i'm telling you Kasim Siako says, point of correction, Amajiri are not uneducated but a knowledge seeker. Okay. Anthony Chinedi says, tribalism will kill this country. What does Tinubu daughter know about our Majiri? Wrong appointments to the wrong person. Exactly. You should use somebody that is in their shoes. Somebody that knows the plight of these people. To, to, to be the ambassador, but you are using your daughter. Okay. Adekola Kaizi says, Flash Adit Nobu should decline the offer as such ambassador should have come from the north that support the system. Someone that has already said thank you. How would she decline the offer? You, if it was you, you decline it. Okay now. Abdullah White says, wrong appointment to the wrong person. What does she know about Amajiris? Or does Yoruba have Amajiris too? Since it is a money matter, they have channeled it to their people. I'm telling you. Because this person is not an house person. She doesn't know anything about our magic. So why are they making her the ambassador? What will she do? Does she understand that their plight? Like the Amajiris will actually understand their plight. No, she wouldn't. Sani Yakubu says, the president just said, what you say in order to provide the legacy of Nigeria. So go ahead and God knows what you are trying to do because it's a good thing. So God will reward you. Okay now. Stanley Dieter says, will they create one of the Christians out of school children to balance the equation? If not, they have just created another wala instead of solving the existence, existing one. Nigerians will heal you. Okuri says, you are correct, but you know the truth. They cannot do that for Christians and pagans that are wandering in the state because of hardship. Of course, it's because they want to Islamize the state. And that will not happen. Everything they are doing to support the Muslims, to support the Amajiris, they know that we don't have one religion in this country. We don't have one tribe in this country, but they are always particular about this this set of people. It is well with them. Anything they want to do, they should do it. He said, nice thing that she has a heart of God. Okay, now. She has helped you before. Eme Kaokole says, my family, my family. I've been now. Everything, they put their family there because there are other people that could actually do this job better than your daughter. But you ref you prefer to put your daughter there. Says Allah everybody says, What do you expect? The core person Peter will be you expect happiness from him the play. What what has Peter be got to do with this talk? Mohammed Ayata says, Don't ever call them uneducated because they are well educated. So why are they acting as if they are not educated? Or Ben says this administration is a family affairs, no challenge, I'm telling you. It is for their family. So they will keep doing what, whatever it is that they like. It is well. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.